right, so a new topic um, that uh, a lot of people talk about um, is the power enrichment and what to set the um, power enrichment to as well as what to do with uh, when it comes in and how it comes in. So we're gonna go and do a little test today. Uh, nine times out of 10, I find that, uh, and even when I had this truck tuned by the no-name tuner, that the power enrichment settings are set too, um, too rich. You know, so this is the power enrichment EQ ratio. So when we enter power enrichment, um, you know, what is being commanded. And so you can see what we're gonna try. Well, I've had the whole thing set to basically go from like 13.0 and then to the taper to like 12.3 or to 12.4 or something like that. And that's actually pretty, pretty rich. Um, you know, so what we've got here is we've got stoic, which is 14.7 commanded basically up until it looks like a 2000 RPM, okay? And so, and then it tapers, you know, uh, 1.045, 1.090, and then it tapers down to basically 3600 and on, which is gonna be wide open throttle. That's like 12.45 or something like that. It's approaching 12.5. And so what I really like to see that number at is more like 12.5 or even 12.7 uh, is what a lot of folks say is good for a naturally aspirated, you know, street, street deal. Obviously boost, uh, force induction is way different. Um, but what we're really looking for is down here, is we want to see if the vehicle behaves any differently. What does it do to the spark? You know, there's no knock retard being pulled right now. So we want to kind of see what it does there. Um, and then also the uh, hot and cold throttle tables. Okay, so if you hover over, it'll tell you that this is the uh, threshold uh, of which it's enabled. Okay, so by RPM, the number that you're commanding is the throttle percentage that it enters, um, you know, into power enrichment. So from zero to 2,800 RPM, it takes 60% throttle, um, you know, to get, to, to enter into power enrichment. Obviously, once you get into wide open throttle, um, it, it's much less. From the factory, these are set really high, like, you know, 70, 80, I think mine was even like 90. Um, so you definitely want to be, um, you definitely want to be cautious of that. Um, you know, because that's a lot of throttle before you enter in power, into power enrichment. I've also got my my enrichment rate set at 1.3. Uh, anything above that is gonna be for boost. Um, and the RPM delays I've got set to zero. Um, the minimum amount of torque to get into it, uh, I have set to 10. If that is set to 100, that means, which mine was, um, that means that you have to get to 100% torque before it will enter power enrichment, which is not good. Um, so you definitely don't want that. So we're gonna take it out and drive it and we're just gonna report back and see what happens. All right, so we just finished a little drive and we're going to, let's sign, good Lord. All right, so we just finished a drive um, and the truck seems to be running really, really good uh, with the few little, just little pulls that I made, um, trying to get it to get into power enrichment and just see you know, what it does, how it behaves. Um, just kind of going over uh, the spark table as well and just making sure we don't see anything weird. Same thing with the long-term fuel trims. I mean, they're a little out, which I kind of already knew. Um, a little bit on the lean side, but that's not, not too terrible. Um, the whole reason for, um, you know, altering uh, the power enrichment table like that was to try to keep it not necessarily running leaner you know for the sake of um you know making more power but so that it'll burn a little bit cleaner maybe the gas mileage will be a little little bit better and so we're gonna make some more pulls you know on the way home uh but so far the truck i mean seems to be running great same thing with my uh my new uh ve table that i created i'll do a quick a quick uh, video soon on that um and you know kind of how i do that whole deal um, so yeah, so we'll uh, do some more uh, data logging and we'll go from there. All right, so we're looking at the latest data log. Um, this one's pretty long. I, uh, I just I turned the data logger on and just drove the truck around um, a pretty good bit. So um, what we've got here is uh, Looks like the long-term fuel trims look pretty good. Um, I mean, actually look really good. Uh, right around here, 1,600 to 2,400, about 35 kPa, 30-ish kPa. 
about 4% lean. It's not too bad actually though. Um, and when you look at it in the scan file down here in the green and yellow, um, they're pretty much just moving the whole time. The short term fuel trims are doing their thing. Um, but not really paying attention to those. We did have a spot where we had a little bit of knock right about here and it's when, it's when I'm getting on the interstate uh, and like in third gear and I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's even like, it might even be like false knock, but it's three and a half degrees, I think at the most. So what we're actually gonna do is go up here to knock retard. Yeah, it's in the same little quadrant over here and we're gonna copy this. We're gonna go into the tune file to the high octane table and we're just going to paste special subtract. And we can see the area right here where it uh, kind of did its deal. Uh, so what I'm actually gonna do is reverse that. And then in that same, well, let me see exactly where it was again. Yes, yeah, so what I'm actually gonna do is right here, we're just gonna take out two degrees, and then we were like right here as well. We're gonna take out two degrees as well. It's gonna create a little bit of a dip, and then we're just gonna kind of smooth all of that over. And then we will take, uh, what is that, 2,836. We'll go, we're gonna go to our low octane table as well, 2836. we're gonna get rid of that so we'll save as newest file and yeah it seems like the power enrichment it seems like the power enrichment deal um, definitely didn't hurt it you know hopefully it'll be burning a little bit cleaner you know uh, maybe it won't smell this funky and you know might get a little bit of gas mileage so yeah that's all we've got for today